Sunday morning, nine days to the election. With us today is Congresswoman Nicole Magotakis, and she ran for mayor before, and now she is concerned about our city, our state, our country. Nicole Magotakis, uh, what's on your mind today? Well, John, as you know, uh, tonight President Trump is coming to Madison Square Garden for his big rally as a member of Congress, uh, the only one from the city of New York. I'm very excited to welcome the president back to his hometown, uh, and I think he's making a lot of headway here in New York City, predominantly because people are tired of one-party Democrat rule. They want, as you always say, you know, common sense, and they're seeing what is happening in our city with the migration crisis, uh, the fact that the Harris Biden administration, they have allowed people to come into this country who have committed crimes, whether it's in their homeland or here, gang members, uh, young women being raped. We had cops being assaulted and shot at. And they're being housed in New York City hotels, as you often talk about, at our expense. And they want an end to this. And the only person that's going to reverse this and deport criminals from our city is President Trump. And I'll I'll tell you something else, John. I know as an immigrant, this is an issue you care about because there are so many people in my community who have relatives who have been waiting patiently to come to this country. They followed our rules. They've done everything right. And this current administration is pushing them to the back of the line. They're actually making them wait longer for court dates as they take the border crossers who did everything wrong, paid the drug cartels to enter our country, violating our our laws, and they're getting priority for court dates. And it is outrageous. And there's so many immigrant families throughout this city, including so many in my district of Staten Island and Brooklyn, that are upset about this, John. Uh, And they want... You know, the, just this common sense. They want lawful, lawfulness and law and order to be respected again. And they want this country to go back to rewarding the immigrants who come here to work hard and do everything right and follow our rules. And, and, and I think that you're going to see a big protest vote here in New York City because people are very upset. Well, Nicole, uh, people are upset in North Carolina where FEMA was only going to give them $750. And we're giving uh, $375 a day to the migrants in New York. I mean, what do you say about that? Yeah, look, again, this is an issue of prioritization. Again, the Biden-Harris administration has had it backwards. They have it backwards, as I talked, putting giving immigrants who are crossing the border uh, first priority over the ones who have been waiting in line and waiting their turn, uh, pushing those court date back. And now you're seeing the same thing happening with this FEMA funding. FEMA funding is meant for emergencies like natural disasters, like we're seeing right now taking place in in North Carolina. That should be the priority for FEMA funds, not to house people who entered this country the wrong way and on top of it are committing crimes. Think about it. How heartbreaking is it for a family in North Carolina right now who desperately needs the funds to rebuild their lives and recover from the storm and that they know that the money instead is going to a gang member is being housed at the Roosevelt Hotel. That is just backwards. And again, it shows how the administration, their priorities are backwards. And I think that's why people in New York and across America are going to rebel in in this election. And they're going to vote for President Donald Trump. And I think New York has always been tough for Republicans. But at the same time, if they want to send a strong message to Mayor Adams and Governor Hochul, that they don't like what they've been doing in terms of putting criminals first, putting illegal immigrants first, uh, and abusing the taxpayers, then uh, this this is the exact way to do it, John. Uh, And I I hope people also recognize that, you know, congestion pricing temporarily went away. And I know it's a big issue in our city. Temporarily went away, this $15 tax to enter Manhattan City Center. I don't believe that people who live in our city in the outer borough should have to pay that fee to come into another borough in the city in which they live. Kathy Hochul suspended it temporarily because it became such a political hot potato in this election. But mark my word, she will bring it back if they win. She will bring it back right after the election. President Donald Trump already made clear that he will stop it. This was approved on the federal level by President Biden. It was rubber stamped by Pete Buttigieg, his uh, DOT secretary and the federal highways. Uh, and, and President Trump 
does have the ability to stop it from going to effect if he takes office. And he said that he would do that. So that's something else for New Yorkers to consider. Nicole Mayotakis, if President Trump gets elected, do you feel he will use the power of the presidency to make New York City, New York City safer? I mean, his son Eric was on my show last Sunday and uh, he uh, uh, he advocated that. Look, I think he's going to do what he what he can try to do. I mean, obviously, the states uh, have their uh, their rights, and that's why we need to make sure we elect good people to the state assembly and state senate this year. Um, but I know that uh, the president, President Trump, wants to intervene where he can. To and the, the biggest place where the president can have an impact on crime is by deporting these uh, illegal immigrants who are here and stopping more who are committing crimes from entering our country. And I think that's really where his focus is going to be. It's going to be on the criminals, the ones conducting the criminal activity, the gangs, the drug traffickers, the murderers, the rapists, the people assaulting our police officers, the people robbing people on the streets, these criminal, little criminal organizations that have been created out of these migrant um, shelters. That's where he is going to come in. He's going to stop funding these encampments and these shelters across our city. Well, the, the, uh, president's, which, the president is very powerful, and we learned that. Well, the president is powerful, but, uh, and again, you know, we have to remember that the people that were let in, these were people that this administration told us were vetted. They lied to us. And oftentimes when they commit a crime and you read about them in the newspaper, you learn that they were arrested at the border, and Customs and Border Protection were directed to release them into the interior by this administration. It was part of the 60 executive orders that they issued. So they're forcing Border Patrol to release these people who are dangerous into our country. And then we find out later on that they have an extensive criminal history uh, after they've been arrested here and committing a crime. That is exactly the, tw- the guy who committed 23 murders in Peru. He was caught at the border. He didn't sneak in. He was caught there and released, directed to be released by Biden-Harris. And so that's the biggest change that we will see with a President Trump back in the White House. A little more, a lot more, I would say, common sense and national security that would end this mass illegal migration that is wreaking havoc in the city of New York. Congresswoman Nicole Mayotakis, thank you for everything you've done for our city, our state, our country, and continue to speak out and We pray for the right victory on November 5th to save our country. Thank you so much. Thank you, John. Thank you for getting the word out. Eden Memorial Chapels understands Jewish funerals can take many forms. Some are orthodox, while others are more conservative or of a reformed nature. There's no one better. With services close to all New York and New Jersey cemeteries, Eden Memorial Chapels offer fair and balanced pricing and can provide easy transfer of you and your loved ones to Israel. While you're grieving, they're here to take care of all the details so that you deal with less bureaucracy and have more peace of mind. Go to EdenMemorial.com. That's EdenMemorial.com.